Jason Kinnear, a very happy player, another top performer for Port Adelaide. John Halbert, well, a disappointed coach. John has got them into the grand final, but unfortunately on the day, they simply weren't good enough. And what more can you say when your side is beaten by 51 points? Ted McMahon, the head trainer of Port Adelaide, Trevor Soler is the big broad back you can see on the screen. Andy Paul Preacher, Tony Giles, Tony Clifford, Russell Johnson, they're all down there. And it's a very excited Port Adelaide crowd. Tony Giles. Mate. Thanks very much. It was a good one to win. Oh, we put yeah. a lot of time and effort into it and we got the results, so it was excellent. You seem to be able to get away by yourself uh, early in the match especially and you got that goal after the stoppage. I think that was a pretty important one. Oh, all goals are important in grand final as you know and um, it was good that Mark Williams come back and he uh, he's still a part of Port Adelaide even yeah. though he's over in Collingham so it was a good result for him also. Got to feel sorry for Trevor Sorrell, that's all. Oh, of course you feel sorry for Trevor Sorrell and something happened to Chrissy Nett the other year but um, like I said, they're still a part of Port Adelaide and they'll be there next year. Great effort. Thanks very much. Good on you, Bob. Thanks very much. For the wonderful support they have given us throughout this year and also for today's game. You've been a wonderful lot of people and we thank you from the bottom of our hearts. I think that you must always remember that there are ten teams in the league competition and only two can make the grand final. Undoubtedly, there can be no question but that Port Adelaide are the premier state of this club. <laughs> However, we must always bear a thought for the vanquished. And I think the fact that the Nulls were top during the minor round and at the end of the minor round is worthy of some applause from you. always will be obviously a force in the competition in this state and on your behalf I congratulate them. It gives me a lot of pleasure to ask Brian Cunningham, the captain of Port Adelaide, to accept the Thomas Seymour Hill Cup. Brian Cunningham. Thanks Max. It might not have been the close game that everyone wanted, but gee whiz, that's the way we love to win them. Special thanks to a lot of people. I can't talk about them now, but especially one to this fellow down here, this coach. He works harder than anyone I know. He's great. And a special thank you to all the supporters who stayed with us for all year. Thanks. from the architect of the victory, John Cale. Thanks very much, Max. Uh, to all the football supporters from uh, all over South Australia, and particularly to Port Adelaide, we thank you very much for your support. I'm very proud of the boys over there. They've done a tremendous job this year, and thanks to you, the football public. Fantastic victory there to Port Adelaide. Of course, winning the Premiership in 1981. Three in a row to the Magpies, and they certainly have wonderful tradition in the club. That concludes our national telecast of the 1981 Grand Final. Of course, locally here on Adelaide, Channel 9 will continue for a further five minutes. Hope you enjoyed our telecast of the 1981 Grand Final. Well done, KG. Well, the lap of honour by Port Adelaide, Russell Evert. Well, he's... Uh, He's had eight tries, Peter Marker, and that's his only his third premiership. Four McGarry medals, three premierships, captain of the state side, captain of Port Adelaide. What else can a man achieve? There's not much more in, and uh, of course he was with North Melbourne and Ron Barassi when, uh, in 1979 when they won one. But, uh, it's been a great career, and I'm with you.
Russell Ebert best on ground today. He was the architect. He set it up. He really set it up for his two wingmen, uh, Martin and, uh, and Kinnear. And uh, then Clifford got burning. Uh, Granger came in to do it centre-half forward and it was shut the gate. They, uh, they played as good a grand final game as I've ever seen. It was a great performance. Their defence was magnificent. They won across centre. They more than broke even in ruck. And what more can you say? As a matter of fact, they almost left the cup behind there. A couple of them had to go back and get it. They're possibly that exhausted that uh, they can hardly lift it. But, well, I would think the adrenaline is moving pretty well now. And there it is from the Channel 9 helicopter. What a magnificent scene it is at Football Park in the 1981 Grand Final. 52,659 people in what started out to be a pretty drab and dreary day. Rain and strong gusts has turned out to be, well, if not a magnificent contest because Port Adelaide won so well, won so easily, but it certainly turned out to be a magnificent day and football was the overall winner. And Trevor Sorrell there in long pants here today, having a run around with the boys. Obviously, uh, they still think he's part of the Premiership team. Well, as I said earlier, Peter, he was disappointed when we spoke to him on Channel 9 earlier in the week, but he was philosophical enough to understand, he's had the experience, that he was part and parcel of the side. He helped them get them into the grand final, and, and he's been a great player for Port Adelaide over the years. A very happy Port Adelaide side as they circle the oval. A massive win, 14-11, for Mel, his six goals, eight, and uh, hello, one of the youthful supporters trying to get on to, uh, to thank his heroes. I think all he did was succeeded in doing was tipping Paul Belt. He looks tired, so does Russell Ebert. But oh, what a great effort has been by Port Adelaide. Tim Evans, Andy Paul Priest on the right, Tony Martin on the left. Well, he's come from Melbourne, walked into the Port Adelaide side, and in his first season in Adelaide, has won a grand final, and who can ask for more than that? Football Park from the air. What an unbelievable sight. The final scores, Port Adelaide 14-11, 95. Grinnell 6-8, 44 is the trophy is taken into the 